What's going on, money friends and viewers of the tube? Today, I'm going to be going over the best games on Bet Theory or what I find to have the most success for myself. This is not um, uh, all encompassing. Maybe there are some games that you play better. For me, these are the two games that I really enjoy and I've made quite a bit. So, without further ado, let's get into the juicy details. So this is Bet3, and these are their, their games. They have some dice, some limbo, some roulette, uh, mines, cryptos, very pharaoh, uh, some other ones. So definitely some fun games. The two games that I actually find that have the best results for me are Dice and Crash. And so um, these have done really, really well. But uh, I've included some strategies and some guides down below. You want them uh they are more step-by-step -step guides and i have some videos somewhere around here so definitely check them out but i actually use a dice tool to get the best results i think that it really helps and you guys can be the uh, the uh judge of that but what i do is i go and use this dice tool again i've included all links down below so if you guys want to check this out i have a net uh, bankroll of 900 I usually do a thousandth of what my bankroll is. So if I have a thousand, or sorry, 900, I divide that by a thousand and I get 90 cents. So I put in 90 cents here. I put 1% roll here and 2% on raise. Um, and then I do 90 cents right here. And as you can see, I can get up to 122 losses with a persistent strategy of 1.2, which is not great at all. Um, we do want this a lot higher, but uh, if we actually go to zero, you can see it only raises this much. But the reason why I use this strategy, and if you can see in here, it's a green all the way through. So if we go and scroll down, you can see no matter when I roll, unless I broke my bank, uh, I have a 50, I'm in the green all the way through. But if I go to, um, remember this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor. Crypto is risky and always consult a professional. Do your own research. I actually just, just learned this. So this is pretty exciting stuff. One, one. Um, it gives me an 82 two chances so a good extra glad i that's that because uh usually if it's under then i okay. but let's get over the strategy and show some results so uh here we go we are going to get into it so we have our one percent here uh prediction and then i have two percent on loss right here um you guys can see that see that just a little bit uh, so uh, all you have to do is make sure that you have a hundredth of what your bankroll is. So if you have five dollars, uh, if you have let's so let's do five dollars divided by a thousand, you'd be betting what I'm betting right now is 0 0.005. Um, so I need to up my my um, bet just a little bit because I'm using 82. So I need to double this. And I just click that on once. So that would put it at a penny. So if I go 83 divided by 1,000, uh, we're looking at 8 cents. So I'm a little bit above that, um, which is totally okay. Um, but we'll, let's have it run. So, um, oh, I need to turn on my thing here. So we can see that I have, um, I'm down 40 cents. There we go. And I'm up a dollar. Um, that wasn't as big of a win because typically when it's um, it's lost more. So say for instance, I've lost, uh, I've rolled it a hundred times. My bets are going to be larger, so the profit's going to be much larger. And what I love about this is every time I win, uh, it kind of resets my my bets, and I get more chances uh, to keep rolling. So um, see, so yeah, as you can see, it's down again, and then it'll go up. In a second here, I'm gonna drink my shake real quick.
And that's what I mean. So now I'm up to, I'm up 10% essentially. I bet, uh, what was it? We started with 83 and up to 90. Um, we'll do one more just to kind of show you guys. But if you think about that, that gives me like a lot more rolls essentially by having that additional eight. Um, and then it just compounds and there we go. So this is the power of bet theory. These are, this is one of my favorite games that I think gets a lot of, um, does really, really well, I think. So as you can see, 1%, I mean, if you, there we go, four and under three. So the dice strategy does work. Definitely check it out guys. And, uh, like I said, I've included the dice strategy. Um, and the guide with the um, the dice tool, so you guys can have that as a guide. So the second game that I actually play, like I said, was uh, I go to Bet Fury, I go to I think it's Crash. There it is. Um, this is another great game. Um, I also do a strategy. I do typically three point two here on cash out. Again, I'll do a thousand of uh what this is so i think we're doing eight cents if i'm my slow memory remind remembers point zero eight and i just bet um and then i'll, I'll double my bet so this is using the uh martin grad strategy where you keep betting um you keep doubling your bet whenever uh you lose and since i'm getting paid out 3.2x um, then I'm able to uh, make a lot more money. So this, I mean, it looks like there hasn't been a lot of 3.2 wins in a while. So um, I'm just going to do a few more just so I can show you guys that when it does win, um, the losses pretty much make up for what the wins are. So like here, 8, 16. Um, this looks like it's going to win. So... There we go. So there we go. There's the uh, Martin Grad strategy. Martin, Marty, Scout. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna take the the 3.2. I sure I could have got six, but uh, I like to be conservative. I just want to show you the profits on this. So 32 cents, 16 cents, eight, uh, 32. So that's 64 cents. And my bet is I won uh, at two dollars and five cents. So I bet. Um, 64 cents uh or so or a dollar or so and i got two dollars out so that's it guys uh remember to like and subscribe and as as i uh said all the links are down below